Hey everyone, Tim here from KiwiKing77.com here doing a video showing you how to install the Ubuntu Touch Developer Preview on your Nexus devices. You will see here I have a Nexus 10 and a Nexus 7, both tablets in my hand. We can get a little closer look at this, but uh, you'll see that uh, I have Ubuntu already installed on them. However, uh, I have a Nexus 4 right next to me. Let me grab that real quick, and it is running Android. So it is still on Android Jelly Bean, so I'm going to go ahead and use the Nexus 4 as my guide to show you how. However, the installation instructions are the exact same for Nexus 10 and a Nexus 4. You just need to download different files, which I will mention clearly. So if you have, uh, here are the devices that you can install it on. A Nexus 10, a Nexus 7, a Nexus 4, and a GSM Galaxy Nexus. Only GSM, CDMA users, Sprint, Verizon, you're out of luck only the GSM uh, version of the Galaxy Nexus. So if you have one of those devices, you can check out the developer preview yourself. You just got to watch this video and I will uh, walk you through installing it. You do not need a PC running Ubuntu either. Uh, the, if, you would if you do have Ubuntu on your PC and you want to use those instructions, I will link to where you can get to those in the description. Ubuntu has uh, written instructions. However, uh, have gone ahead and tested this out on the Nexus 4 and Nexus 10 and it works just fine and I'm going to go ahead and show you on the Nexus 4 as well. Also wanted to make a quick note that you will need to have a custom recovery installed on the device you want to install Ubuntu on whether it be Twerp, Clockwork Mod. I recommend Twerp personally however Clockwork Mod should work fine as well. Uh, I have Twerp right now on my Nexus 4. If you need to know how to install a custom recovery. I have a video showing you how to root your device, which will show you how to install a custom recovery. I will link to those videos, how to root your, all these dev Nexus devices. I have videos on all of them, actually, 10, 7, 4, and uh, Galaxy Nexus as well. So you're gonna need to root it to get that custom recovery. I also wanna make a note that this is a developer preview, so it will have bugs. It's not functional for daily use at all. Keep that in mind. Um, I would not recommend this to anyone looking to uh, use it as a daily driver. It's just meant for a preview and for you to test it out and get the feel for it. Also, before I do get into it, I'm gonna, I want to make a quick note. Again, do not flash this on any other device. Flash all these files at your own risk. Uh, it should work fine, but again, take everything uh, at your own risk. And I don't know yet if this is gonna be available or ported over to other devices. I'm not sure. So uh, as of right now, I don't know yet, but let's go ahead and get this installed. Also, real quick before I show you how to install it, I just wanted to show off that this was a fully working ROM and it wasn't just something where I would hit a screenshot up. This is actually going to get you installed, uh, Ubuntu installed on your device. All right, so here we go. We got a Nexus 4 right here with a custom recovery. It does have twerp recovery. Again, this works on the Nexus 7 and Nexus 10 as well and GSM Galaxy Nexus, so you might have that in front of you as opposed to a Nexus 4. I just uh, chose to use the Nexus 4 in this tutorial video just because it was smaller, so uh, it wasn't cumbersome messing around with it. But anyways, you do need to put a couple zip files on the internal storage of your device. Also, I also want to make a note to make sure you back up your internal storage, your pictures, your music, etc. Just in case anything goes wrong, I believe it does get wiped anyways when you install Ubuntu, so back up all your pictures, back up everything. Uh, just pretend like everything's going to be wiped. So we're gonna need to download a couple zip files to put onto your device. Uh, pay close attention to this part because this is where it varies depending on the device you have and this is the only, uh, the file that you download is the only thing that varies. So go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video below. Doing so is going to take you to my website right here. I have an article posted uh, how to install it. Go ahead and scroll down and I have all the downloads for you here. Every single device needs this file no matter what. So uh, to download it, you need this file specifically. They're both going to be zip files. And once everyone has downloaded this file or while it's downloading, you need to also pick, select your specific uh, make and model, a uh, Nexus 10, 7, 4, GSM Galaxy Nexus, uh, with their code names Manta Grouper Mako or Maguro. Uh, download your specific device one as well. So you need to have two zip files. Um, as I said, they're going to look like this. Let me see if I have them up. I do. So I have uh, right here the files, the Quanta. That's what they're going to look like once they're done downloading. Um, you will see the Fablet one up the top is the main one that everyone needs to download. And then you have RML plus Manto, RML plus Mako, RML plus Grouper or the Maguro as one as well if you have a GSM Galaxy Nexus. So all you're gonna have to do is transfer both files over to your device. I have Mako, which is the Nexus 4, so I need to transfer the Fablet file, which is the main one, along with my specific device file. So two zip files transferred over to my 
internal storage of my device. Again, this file specifically is going to be different depending on which, uh, which device you do have, excuse me, and then the phablet file is going to be the same for everyone. So everyone needs to have this phablet file and then you need your device specific file. So make sure you download the correct one. If you need help with this, let me know because you need to, this is very important. So if you need help, just leave a comment, let me know. All right, so I went ahead and transferred that phablet file and that Mako file onto my device, the zip file. Now we need to get into that custom recovery. I'm just gonna power off the device. Once fully powered off, you need to press and hold volume up, volume down, and the power button all at the same time. I believe this is the same for all uh, Nexus devices. If not, let me know. I'll just leave an annotation letting you know which one is different. So here we go. We go into the bootloader now. Just press volume down twice until it says recovery mode, and then press the power button to select it, and it will take you to recovery mode. After you press that power button, you will see it'll reboot. We have our bootloader unlocked, of course, because we have a custom recovery installed, and then our custom recovery will load up. Team win right here. So uh, the first steps is to make an Android backup. You need to make sure you have one. Just go ahead and press the backup button, and then I'm just going to set backup name to, let's just say stock. That's all I'm going to name it to, and I'm going to hit go. And now all I have to do is hit swipe to backup, and an Android backup will be made. Again, you need to make sure that you do follow this and make an Android backup, just in case anything does go wrong. All right, and you will see backup is complete. It was successful. I want to make a note that installing Ubuntu isn't going to wipe the internal storage of your device, so once you have this backup, it will stay on there. Uh, to get back to Android, all you have to do is restore that Android backup that you did make. So once this Android backup is complete, just go ahead and press the back button because we're not done with the custom recovery. We just needed to have this Android backup in case anything goes wrong or in case you want to get back to Android, just press this restore button and it will bring you back. Just press restore. You'll see stock is right there, which is what I named it. Press that and it will go back. Anyways, let's go ahead and get Ubuntu installed. All you have to do is press the install button. And then on your internal storage, you will see those two zip files that you have downloaded. Again, your this one might be a little bit different. It'll say RML plus whatever variant device you have, but you everyone will have this phablet zip. So again, I can't stress that enough. Make sure you have the correct file. And the order you flash them is important, so pay attention. You want to flash your device-specific zip file first. The phablet file is second. So select your device-specific zip file. You will see RML plus mako.zip, double check, and then all you have to do is hit swipe to confirm flash. That is it. So this file is much smaller than the phablet file, so it will take a pretty short amount of time to install. And you will see it didn't take long at all. It says successful. We're not done. Don't hit reboot system. You can just go ahead and press the back arrow and now select that phablet zip file there. Double check that you selected the correct file and hit swipe to confirm flash. Now this file is much larger, so it will take a bit of time to install. Just be patient with this zip install process, and then I will be back once it is done. All right, and the uh, file is done installing. You'll see successful there, and we are done. Now all you have to do is hit reboot system, and our your specific device is going to reboot, whether it be a Nexus 4, 7, 10, GSM Galaxy Nexus. And once it boots up, it will boot up into Ubuntu, actually. So... Uh, we will see, you, it, you did see the Google screen there, but then it should load up Ubuntu. And like so, you will see, uh, loads on up, and that's it. So we now have Ubuntu running on my specific Nexus 4. I also have it on my Nexus 7, and I also have it on my Nexus 10. So there we go. I'm actually going to do a full review video of the uh, Ubuntu developer preview. I'll actually start that now. Um, so this video will probably upload before my review video, but definitely check out my review video once I have it uploaded. You'll see I got home apps. It seems to be running pretty smooth. It was pretty sluggish on the Nexus 7. Nexus 10 it was much quicker than the Nexus 7 at least. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, but that's it. So that would be uh, how to install the Ubuntu Developer Preview on your Nexus device. If you have any questions at all, feel free to ask, leave a comment. Hopefully this helped you guys out. If it did, please click that subscribe button and subscribe to me. I would really appreciate it. Also leave a comment. Let me know uh, that it worked for you. Click that thumbs up button as well. That helps. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description below. And that's it. So thanks for watching, guys, and thanks for the support.